Alrighty, we are we are sterilizing the seeds. A little pipette. Um, four parts water, one part bleach, some water, and then this is where I'm gonna discard all the rest of the stuff. We got all our all our different seeds in the little micro pipettes here. This one already has some bleach in it. I'll let it sit in there for a little bit and I'll do the entire uh, tray here. And then I'll pull out the bleach, I'll wash it, and uh, then it's about ready for planting. Uh, and I do it all inside of the pipette here so that it's just easy to do. And um, later tonight, hopefully we'll plant those. Then I'll cover it with soil, and that's it. Okay. Oops. Don't do me taking your videos and doing a stupid thing. <laughs> like forgetting to write the tag. <laughs> So we use Airtable for the database um, of all of our different roses. And there's really, let's see if I can shrink this down a little bit. There's a few different tables of interest. Um, we have the three main ones are the breeding plants table, which is essentially all the different breeding plants that we have along with the plant key. We have a seedlings table, which is active seedlings that, um, that have survived uh, germination. We have the hips table, which has the year and the hip number associated with it, along with the seed and the pollen parent. And uh, as we go through the process of pollination, we, we enter in a number of these different things sort of automatically as, as things are pollinated. And then we copy that over into the HIPS table where we then enter in the number of seeds collected and, and various things. So that was, you know, this is always a part of the, the process at the year end. And that's what those numbers mean on each of the labels. 